Hello guys, this is your boy Enoch Poet and welcome back to Poet Design channel. And in today's tutorial I'll be showing you on how to manipulate a, a realistic photo manipulation. I'm going to show you a realistic photo manipulation in your smartphone. So let's get into it. First of all we open the photo we want from the gallery. Come to the photo that you need from the gallery. Select the photo then you're going to share it to a photo room this is the photo and we are going to share it to the photo room so we're going to share it to photo room the photo room scans the photo to uh, erase the background so like that and then we select a loose background i'm gonna select a loose background like that uh, to save it as a png a photo which is not having a background so I'm gonna save it so the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to open uh, this cut then come at the plus button add the select the background that you need this I'm going to use this background and this is the background I'm going to use then I'm going to scroll left side uh, up to add photo then I'm going to choose the photo I change the background add there resize it I'm gonna resize it I'm going to resize it then I'm coming to plus button on my left side add a sticker then at the top I'm going to write on the search uh, I'm going to write a shade then I'm going to choose this one mm -hmm. then again on the top I'm going to bring it down like that then select the eraser then come here down erase adjust the brush or hardness and opacity and the size brush like that and as you can see the shadow looks like a real i'm going to duplicate the same shadow uh, duplicate again i'm going to bring it down i'm gonna go to erase Awesome. So another thing I'm going to come at the plus again. Okay, I select the, the pass myself, the photo of myself again, come to the erase. Uh, to use the brush, I'll lose hardiness, opacity, and try to erase around the, the shoe to make it look, uh, reflect the ground, reflect the ground. So that it looks realistic like that again now come at the plus button add the shade again so i'm going to rotate the uh, this shade i'm bringing it down uh, i'll scroll it down then I'm, I'll come to adjust, I'll come to opacity, sorry, I'll come to opacity. Then reduce some opacity. So I'm going to save it. So let's go to the next picture that we are going to uh, change the background. So again, I'm going to open the, uh, the my folder. This is the second picture that we are going to change uh, also the background to make it look realistic.
so I'm gonna share this uh, photo again to uh, photo room I'm gonna share this photo to photo room as usual it scans the photo to remove the background like that again you go uh, and save it as PNG Again, I'll open the uh, piece card. Now this is my background, I'm going to crop it. Uh, I'm going to crop it. Add the photo. So again, I'm going to use uh, to adjust the uh, the brightness. I'm reducing the brightness to negative twenty five. I'm also going to reduce highlights to negative twenty. like that so another thing I'm going to select myself uh, the photo and uh, come to eraser uh, use the brush reduce the hardness and the opacity and move around the shoe to have the reflection of the of the rod like uh, to reflect on the shoe to make it realistic so now that is it So I'm going to add uh, also a uh, shed. So reside adjust and move it down. And save it so again now I'm going to share uh, these photos to light room so open lightroom open photos import the two the photos you've changed the background into lightroom So if you need the, these uh, presets, I'll be leaving in the description. There is a link I'll, uh, down there, so make sure you, if you need them, download and you are free to use them.
This is before and after. before after. So thank you guys if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel make sure you subscribe because i'll be bringing to you content like this so make sure the notification bell is on to receive instant notification bye bye